Hey y'all, what is up? I've got Diablo here with me. He is absolutely my first snake. <laughs> and <laughs> you love them. He is a corn snake and um I have a unfortunate story that I feel like I really need to tell you guys. Um my, the creator that got me into being more comfortable around reptiles and is definitely the one to thank, um, for me to have my wife okay with a snake here in the house. Um, Brian Barksy, Barksy, I can't pronounce his last name very well, but Brian B here on YouTube, um. He kind of got the ball rolling for us and has shown us many, many, many more reptiles we absolutely love and are now on our wish list. Um, he is, if you haven't, <laughs> yep, that happens. Um, he is the reason, <laughs> he is one of the biggest, um, reptile enthusiast in the hobby um i feel like he's n the next he's and on. newest steve Irwin. um he has recently shared that he has um pancreatic, pancreatic cancer um i'm giving a shout i feel like if you're finding my channel you might already know his um However, I do want to give him the biggest shout out because he has done my family so many great things. Um, and we're always <laughs> learning from him. I don't know what Diablo is trying to do here. He wants to be on camera. He's always going for it. Boop. Boop. I'm trying to figure out what my snake is doing. Boop. Um, so that is my unfortunate story for the day. Um, I was looking back on my videos, and I really haven't done anything with Diablo besides just a few quick clips. So, the story on this fella is, one, he is my heart and soul when it comes to reptiles. Um, kind of well. And, as you can tell, he does have an interesting character. Um, we got him. He is between the ages of 10 and 15 years old. We don't know exactly how old he is. Um, my favorite reptile store owner um, back home got him from a gentleman that just got too old to care for him the way that he wanted to. So, he get, his family gave him up. Um, I'm trying this. He doesn't always like to do it. Um, however, um, and that was when my wife and I were still talking about adding a snake, and, uh, so they pulled this guy out when we were thinking we were just gonna get a baby and raise him ourselves, um, which I was totally fine with, um, hence I love snakes anyway. <laughs> I did not. And my wife was still on the fence about it. But if anyone could change her mind, it was that store owner. Um, so we go in there. Um, the store owner already knew what we were wanting. Um, we didn't really have a specific um, snake that we wanted. As far as corn, boa, ball. It didn't matter to us. Um, we... We just knew that we were going in to look around for a snake. Well, in the back. Well, we get there, start looking at what's what she has on the floor, and she comes up to us and says, "Hey, I know what y'all are in here for. I have a, a guy in the back. If you'd like to check him out, he's a bit older." I said, "Absolutely, let me see him." Um. My, so, she pulls him out. Um, he immediately reaches out just like this. 
to my wife. And my that right there sold him as far as my wife is concerned. Um, because he chose to introduce himself in his own way to her. Um, this guy has never, we were told he has never bit anyone, never violent. Um, He's not even he just kind of does his own thing and that's, that's just him. Um, so we are going on a little under a year now that we've had him. And he has legit been the greatest snake possible. He's been a pug boy. She really knew what she was doing when she offered him to us. Um, and I think, <laughs> if I remember right, um, I think since I let her know ahead of time, uh, the time frame that we were might be going in to look for one, I think he had just... Um, he just got there shortly before, maybe a couple weeks before, because they did try to breed him, and it wasn't really working for him, so she just decided to get rid of him and knew exactly what household she wanted him to go to. So, okay. that is the story behind this fella. Um, He's got his arm wrapped around the back seat. <laughs> if I find... I'm going to do more research on Brian, my buddy Brian, and see what links and what and how we can support him. Um, otherwise, just go ahead and uh, try to find his page. I'm sure it's not that hard. Just type in Brian B on the YouTube search, and he should come up fairly quickly. Um, again, he is, he's done multiple... <coughs> collabs with other creators um and their names have um disappeared from me at the point um he did the buzz place where he did the he walked for the uh, alligator gator land yeah. in florida yeah um he did the buzz what is that thing you like i don't know um, Where they give money. Anywho. Oh. The one creator that he's done multiple um, collabs with is Mr. Beast. That's it. Um, but I will, once I get this video posted, I will definitely <clears throat> try to find um, links and whatnot to share under this video um i know i've been having issues with my youtube as far as commenting goes i'm still in the process of working on that for those that have asked about it um i will also post my links down below so you can follow me elsewhere and keep up with what's going on with my collection and what's going on here this guy Sure seems interested and happy to be on the video. He um, wants to be famous. <laughs> but, yeah, this is Diablo. Hello. <laughs> Good morning, I think he everybody. wants the wall. He says, yeah, he wants to climb the wall, Mom. He wants to go see his brother, and that's not okay, Mom. I'm watching him try to climb my wall. Okay. Because you know the brother's a little nervous over here. Anywho, um, that is all I really had planned for today. Um, because I, I felt like I absolutely had to share. Brian is super close to our hearts and really deserves some yeah. support behind him. Yeah. Um, so, that is... That is my goal here. <clears throat> and we will see what the future holds for him and his family and what he's got going on. And our family. I would absolutely hate to see him just drop off the we face of the him. earth. Um, Go Brian! <laughs> Anywho, I will see you guys later and thanks for watching.